Hello everybody, my name is Lonely Wolf J and uh, welcome back to another Beatamon review slash impression video where I bring to you each and every Beatamon from Battle Beatamon series and trying to do a review. Uh, today we're gonna talk a bit about this bad boy right here and this is Helio Breaker. Helio Breaker is power type Beatamon and it's a really strong in power and also in stability. In fact, this Beatamon is so strong that when Takara released it, it was really, really powerful and it was too powerful when it got out in international markets, so they needed to actually tweak it and make it a bit weaker because they thought that it's too powerful, but still. Um, Actually, it's got like a really, really nice body. You can see it right here. The colors are yellow, black EBA body, and a bit of blue with that core inside, and uh, and that what you call it? That uh, horn parts. All the pieces of armor are actually plastic, hard plastic, except uh, horns. Horns are rubber. Now, this Binawan, as I said, is really, really stable. You can see this part behind here on the legs. Those actually hold legs, leg pieces uh, together, so they are much more stable and you can see a lot of detailing on this Bidaman which is really a sick job on this department. It's probably one of the best looking or much more uh, the, the most detailed Bidaman in Battle Bidaman series. So, uh, special features of this Bidaman are, uh, okay first of all I need to tell you it's a first generation of Battle Bidaman series so it's actually um, owned by Bull, and this is Zero System Beatamon. Now, you can see it's got some uh, different kinds of armor. Those hands are actually called Power Hands, and uh, they've got a buckle on, uh, or on the mouthpiece right here, and this buckle actually holds, holds this hands together. And the power, uh, this Beatamon gains power uh, with this hand because they can be pulled like together to increase stress on the core. You can see it from this side. This part should actually press on core much more, but since these Bidaman is actually a uh, Hasbro version, it's not as strong as the Takara version. So those uh, pieces were kind of trimmed off, which is a sad thing to say because we abso I absolutely love powerful Beatamon. Uh, other than that, it's got like some really cool red detailing like on this mouthpiece or buckle piece. Eye parts are red and down here on foot. This actually rounds a whole design a bit so it looks much, much better. Uh, nothing strange on or different on the back. We got a trigger, which is blue as the same as core, and uh, the back side. Usually, how you hold this Beatamon is which, with this fingers on your hands, this right here, and then you shoot Beatama. Um, I actually got this Beatamon in a bundle that I actually won a bit on, on eBay. And it came in this bundle, so I cannot unbox it uh, because it was already unboxed and already uh, together, kind of. And here it is. Now I need to say you can get this Beatamon, uh, the car version on eBay for about nine dollars. I also need to say that um, this Beatamon is really stable, as I mentioned twice before, probably. All the parts are really stable, are hooked on this EBA body and cannot fall off. Those black pieces right here are put on with, with uh, those rings here. And of course on the bottom, on legs, you cannot lose those. Also uh, those 
hand bars are attached on buckles, so everything is connected except for this part. Horns are horrible in on this video, man. You you can easily get them down. They are really easy to put down, and that's a bit unfortunate because you can lose them easily. I tried to glue them on with a hot glue with contact cement, but nothing really worked. Uh, but other than that, really, really nice looking Beatemon. So actually, that's it. Now let's test its real power and let's see how powerful this Beatemon really is. Okay, everybody, so as you may or may not know, we don't have any special equipment for uh, to actually calculate or measure power of projectiles, so we need to do it in some other way and this way is with this puck right here. This puck will shoot it uh, and we'll see uh, what kind of distance it travels so from that we'll see its power and everything else. So let's just get right to it. We shot two Bidamas at, at a time and then reset everything and again two Bidamas so we get some kind of uh, good calculations on power department this one was really good it stopped at 11 this one was a bit weaker and it stopped on about 21 let's try this one more time let's reset it on zero and go with it this one stopped at 11 and another one this one stopped at about 21. So here we are with uh, Helio Breaker. This Beatemon was actually my favorite Beatemon in uh, Metal Beatemon series when I was younger. I always wanted it, but I couldn't buy it. I don't know why, I cannot remember if it was not in a shop or anything, but I really, really love this Beatemon uh, just by design. And as I look at it right now, in a power department, as I said, this one, this one is power type Bidemon. I must say that it re it's really not that strong. Uh, maybe it's because it's uh, Hasbro version, or, or I don't know, maybe the car version is much much stronger, but compared to uh, like Cold Blade, this one is not that strong, which is interesting. Other than that, uh, if you're a collector and if you're collecting Beatemon, I definitely suggest this one for you. It looks really amazing. It's probably one of the best looking Beatemon that you get out there. So yeah, just check it out. And uh, I hope I'll see you in the next video because that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.